Hi guys, uh, Rob Ratliff back again with Marketing AI and Titans of Business. I am going to answer another question uh, that was asked to me on Facebook. And the question is, what should I invest in a marketing budget? Well, that is a fantastic question. And to be honest, it's really one that is probably more important today. And I mean like today and probably the next few weeks than ever. Um, and that's because I'm really worried about where the economy is headed. Now, maybe, you know, everything's fine, but, you know, you're just seeing lots of signs and even, you know, people maybe admitting that we might be heading into some kind of recession. And I'm worried about these, about home businesses and small businesses surviving this, especially because a lot of times the first thing that businesses want to cut when they are struggling is their marketing budget. And the issue is when you do that, you're no longer attracting people to your business. And so you're no longer making sales. And the idea is you need to find a way to market, but get a good return on your investment and a good return on your ad spend. And if you're doing that, then it doesn't matter what the economy is doing. As long as you are getting more back than you're putting into it, there's no reason to cut ads, and it's just a matter of doing it the right way. So that's where we talk a lot about, kind of in the last video, about targeting and target market and making sure you're only showing your ads to the people who are most likely going to buy your product or service, getting to know your product, getting to know your service, getting to know you, and, and likewise. Uh, I will say this too, that if you do want to cut your marketing budget to try to save money, um, and there's just no other way you can do it, then I would say if you're going to do that, then you'll need to do more of the what they call guerrilla marketing. And this is really getting in the weeds, going business to business, talking to people, calling on the phone. And instead of letting things like Google do the work and you know social media ads drawing people in, you're going to be doing what's more what we call more a push marketing, which is going out to the potential customers, to the businesses, Maybe you're going to uh, things like farmer's markets if you have a product, or you're going to conferences and networking, whatever it is, you've got to find a way to try to get what it is that you're doing in front of the right people. And so this could be uh, getting on Facebook and being very, very active and commenting and liking and sharing and reaching out to people on LinkedIn and, and Instagram and all these different things. So, I mean, I'm not saying you can't cut your marketing budget if really it starts to get hard. I'm just saying, if you do, you're going to have to make it up somewhere else. Otherwise, your business is just going to go under. So with that being said, let's answer the question, what should I invest for a marketing budget? Well, this is, uh, again, it kind of comes back to what's your return on your investment. If you're spending $1,000 and you're making you know, $10,000, then spend $10,000 and make $100,000. Now, that being said, it's a little bit difficult to do that. So let's say that, well, but not impossible. So Let's say that you're spending a thousand, but you're making two thousand, or spending a thousand but making, you know, five hundred dollars. And when I say making five hundred dollars, I mean profit. If it's gross revenue, then obviously again you have to look at your net profits and make sure that you know you're making money. But if you're spending a thousand in uh, marketing dollars and you're only getting a return of five hundred on your revenue. That's not a good ad spend. But if you're spending a thousand and you're getting um, five hundred back in net net revenue, then yeah, you know, feel free to spend ten thousand dollars and um, you know, you spend ten thousand dollars to make fifty thousand dollars or something like that. So you get the idea. I guess it'd be five thousand dollars. You spend ten thousand dollars to get five thousand net net, meaning. You get your 10,000 back plus your 500, so 15,000. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. I didn't lose you there. Uh, but, you know, there are there are people who will also look at their marketing budget and their return on investment in a little bit different light. And that is that they may even take a loss, a little bit of a loss on their marketing budget in order to gain a customer. So, if you have a service that's like a return service or a monthly subscription, for example, uh, and you know that the lifespan of a person on your subscription is six months. So let's say your subscription is, I don't know, $30 a month. 
So you know that uh, $30 a month uh, times six months is going to be $180. So you know that you could spend up to, you know, $100 or so in order to make that $180. Again, you know, kind of have to look at what are your expenses on top of that, what's your total cost. But, you know, you may not make that, you may spend $30 or you may spend $100 only to make 30 the first month. But then you know that by looking at the amount of people that come back and continue to buy, that that money is going to net you a higher revenue at the end of the six months or year or whatever it's going to be. So same thing goes with, uh, it's like the lost leader at the grocery store of milk. You know, they go in and they price milk at $1.99 on Wednesdays so that you can go in and get a gallon of milk for $1.99, hoping that you'll buy some other things on the way out to make up the loss that they have on that milk. So marketing can be the same thing. There are other uh, ideas out there where maybe you sell a book for you know, like six or seven dollars or a pamphlet or something or a, a knowledge, some kind of kit you put together for six or seven dollars. So that way, you know, maybe you spent um, twenty dollars to make that seven dollars. So now you're only down 13. But the next product you sell is going to be fifty dollars to a certain number of people. And again, it's about calculating those kinds of leads and what the conversion rate is on those leads. And it can, you know, if you have questions about this, obviously we can look at what you're doing and we can start looking at what that might look like. But the idea is a marketing budget can be very fluid depending on, and very different depending on who you're targeting, what you're selling, if there's an upsell, if there's a cross sell, if it's a monthly subscription, if it's just a one-time thing. And obviously if it's just a one-time thing that totally changes the game, and if all you have is a one-time product that someone's going to buy, you really need to start looking at what other products can you sell to them or what are some upsells or cross-sells that you can do for that product or service. Because I'm going to be honest, it is almost impossible with um, just one product one time and you're trying to market that product one time. That's just not where the money is. You really need some kind of residual growth where you're getting the same dollar amount um, every month, like sub a subscription, or you're able to sell them one thing uh, for $20, but then the next thing they buy is going to be $80. It's an upsell or something like that, so that your marketing dollar covers those fees. So hopefully that helps you uh, understand kind of that correlation. Now, just starting off, the you know the basic rule for what a marketing budget is, is going to be something about 10%, 7 to 10% of what is your revenue? You know, what are you bringing in? If you're bringing in um, ten thousand dollars a month, then you know you're probably going to want to spend at least I don't know, like seven hundred dollars a month or something like that in order to. And I I could definitely have my math there wrong, um, but you can. Uh, but let's say ten percent of ten thousand is a thousand dollars. That's going to be your what we what we consider in marketing kind of maintenance, not necessarily a growth percentage. If you're really trying to grow, then you know the advice is that you're going to spend upwards of 15 to 20 percent of your revenue. So that means if you're making ten thousand dollars a month, you're going to be spending two thousand dollars a month. Now that means you're going to be making less money net 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 each month. But the idea is that you're growing your business to a point where you can then reduce your market budget to about 10% or 7% and maintain that same pace and, re and maintain that same um, ROI, return on investment and return on ad spend. So I would be looking at at least 7 to 10%. That's just if you're trying to maintain, but up to like 20% if you're really trying to grow your business. So as far as uh, that goes, that's what I would say when we're talking about um, you know, what should your marketing budget be? Hopefully that answers those questions. A lot of it just comes down to how good is your conversion? If you have really good conversions and really good ads, then your marketing budget can be as high as you want it to be because you're making more profit on that marketing budget than you're losing. And, it, you know, that way, that means that if you're spending a thousand, make 10,000, you could spend 10,000, make a hundred thousand. So hopefully that helps. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll be back with more questions uh, or more answers to those questions. And uh, I'd love it if you um, 
find my link and information on the bottom of this video uh, that I have in YouTube and join me in, uh, online in some of my groups and ask me questions there. Love to hear from you. Great. Out.